Hey y'all, happy Friday. We're gonna see what does the collective need to receive today. You know we're gonna get some tea because I was feeling drawn to pull from here. So look at that, tea, all right? We got here trafficking, so maybe a karmic reader is involved in this, but somebody is trafficking something. This could be drugs, this could be, hopefully, you know, it's not people, but let's see. Sex trafficking, human trafficking, drug trafficking. Right, we have a business owner or an entrepreneur is involved in this. This could be you or this could be somebody that is involved in this situation. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. We have here to keep pushing and keep praying and to remain optimistic, okay? Regardless of whatever is going on right now, stay positive and optimistic because that's going to help you to manifest your best life, okay? Tell me more. All right, so, wow, federal case and trafficking, y'all. All right, they're about to lose it all. We have here that it was a trap. Whatever they did, they got caught up. Let's see, tell me more. It says here that you're better without these people or, or without this person, all right? This is somebody that you grew up with, all right? This could be family. This could be a, a childhood friend, somebody you grew up with, but you're better off without these people or the, without this person. Yeah, look, you're about to get an increase in your finances. You're about to get all your blessings, which is why Spirit is saying to remain optimistic, to keep praying, keep pushing. All right, tell me more. So basically, don't feel bad when these people start to get their karma. Yeah, this is why. Don't feel bad because they was doing spell work on you. All right? They, they could have been trying to steal your energy, trying to, you know, hold you back and shit like that. You know, the typical. Tell me more. The typical. See what I'm saying? They don't want to see you win. You see what I'm saying? All right? So that's what Spirit is saying here. Don't feel bad for these people when they're about to start taking losses because they didn't want to see you win. And they was actively in the background bippity bopping so that you don't win okay so we have here a family friend we have here someone you grew up with so take it how it resonates it could be family a family friend you know uh someone you that you that you called family because you know them for so long all right someone connected to your family all right that's for some of y'all for some of y'all we have here a copycat a swagger jacker all right so this is somebody who wanted to be like you they didn't want to see you win because they wanted they wanted to take your spot tell me more This is somebody that they're not going to evolve, all right? They're going to remain in a karmic loop. They're going to keep on repeating karmic lessons. They're going to be surrounded by death and destruction. They're not going to be leveling up, all right? And this is what Spirit is saying, that you're getting the last laugh, okay? This is it right here, the last laugh. Ha ha, bitch. <laughs> ha ha, bitch. <laughs> you try to hold the collective back and now look at you. You're going to be in that same position for the rest of your existence in this lifetime. Repeating karmic cycles on a fucking hamster wheel, repeating the same shit over and over, not evolving, not leveling up, not manifesting, just the same bullshit. All right. And they're facing judgment in court. <laughs> For some of y'all, it's definitely someone from your circle, a jealous friend of yours. All right. Again, someone you grew up with. All right. Watch your circle, jealous friends. Okay. A fire sign could be significant. Uh, or there's going to be a fire popping off, all right? But Aries, Leo, Sag is fire signs, all right? Sagittarius. We have here, they're losing their minds. Yeah, because they losing their mind and losing it all. They're losing everything, even their mind. <laughs> because shit ain't working the way that they thought it was going to work out, all right? For some of y'all, it could be an aunt. Yeah, you're going to be getting your wishes granted. They really wanted to stop this from happening, so that's why they're losing their minds. Yeah, look, you're getting your wishes granted and you are getting re 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 rewards and recognition, y'all. <laughs> All right. Um, this could be any type of recognition. This could be at work. This could be if you have like a social media platform, whatever. You are going to get the recognition that you deserve and the rewards for it. Yeah, look, big, big changes are coming in. Okay, let's see what else. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. All right, so these could be people that you had like a trauma bond relationship with. Yeah, trickery. And right, we have life purpose. So they was doing some type of trickery to affect your life purpose. They wanted to keep you stuck in a trauma bond. Okay, let's uh, clarify some cards. 
Holy Spirit, why these people, why they don't want to see the collective one? Here we go. <laughs> yeah, they wanted to see you sick. They wanted to see you stressed. All right. They wanted to put you on a low vibration. Tell me more. Okay. They wanted to have control over you. All right. That's why they don't want to see you win because they needed to keep you like this to be able to siphon from your energy and do whatever else they were trying to do. All right. So we have here. I feel like maybe this person, they didn't want you to go on an adventure. They didn't want you to persevere, you know, to overcome these uh, obstacles. They didn't want you to leave. For some of y'all, this could be a baby mom or baby daddy that you have a child with. They wanted to keep you stuck. They didn't want you to get out there. It says explore, travel, passion, you know, adventure. They didn't want you to start fresh with that number zero, you know, like a new beginning. All right. This is somebody that was projecting you to be stuck in your life they were projecting that energy so that they could be able to have control over you all right again a trauma bond for some of y'all the baby mama baby daddy all right someone uh like i said a family member all right oh uh, let's see what else tell me more about this energy holy spirit what does the collective need to know all right these people could be being haunted right now with this nightmare you know whatever they were trying to send towards you is going back all right, uh, so let's see. Live and learn. So definitely a karmic energy with this live and learn. All right, again, family is involved in this. Family, family, friend, maybe mama, baby, daddy, whatever. All right, they had this bright idea to try to stop you. Yeah, look, to try to rob you. You see what I'm saying? They try to stop you and block you and keep you in a low vibration so they could rob your energy. They could steal from you. I know this sounds crazy, but listen, I'm tired of repeating it. If you know, you know, all right? But by this time, you should know already that these people be doing this shit, all right? Yeah, merit making. They was they was part of some type of like a religion or some shit. Um, and it's not a good religion, all right? Because they're doing voodoo, all right? So they're doing something here to try to get, you know, a higher ranking or something like that in, in this group, in this cult, in this coven, religion, whatever it is, all right? And this is because they want to earn this indulgence, okay? This, um, you know, living life, living life, you know, lavishly. Or just living good, all right, off of your energy. So you see what I'm saying? Like they gotta, they gotta take you out, and they gotta go back and give and give this information to whoever this this uh, energy here is. You know, this leader, this cult leader, this leader of this group, or whatever the fuck this shit is. And then they all eat. They all eat off of your energy. That's what they've been doing for the longest. They've done this to me too. People do this shit all the time, y'all. This is not, it's not nothing new. Like this is what these people be doing. They all be in a in a cult, a coven, whatever, and they they target us. And then they try to steal from our energy. They start bullying us. They want to, you know, bully us spiritually. Because ain't nobody bullying me in the physical. I haven't seen not even one bitch try that shit with me. And it ain't going to happen. But they have been doing it in the spiritual. All right? Yeah, look. They do domination spells. Because they want to have you controlled. All right? If they have control over you, like we saw here, right here. If they, if they have control over you by keeping you sick, keeping you stressed, keeping you going through many obstacles, they get to live lavishly off of your energy this is really real <laughs> this shit is really happening all right but it's over now all right you found out yeah you're being brave you're standing in your power all right you're being courageous and because of that you are gonna get the last laugh okay that's how this shit is always gonna end when you fucking with a chosen one tell me more holy spirit the only reason this shit was working in the past is because we didn't know any better we didn't know i didn't know about none of this shit all right, we were stuck with trauma bond connections, you know, chasing lovers and just doing dumb shit instead of, you know, like being awakened to this. But now we awake and look what we're doing. Now we 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 protecting ourselves. We standing our ground. All right, tell me more, Holy Spirit. Yeah, these people are in alliance. Okay, so it's a group of people. It could be a, a like I said, your family members. Yeah, they put you on an altar. <laughs> I'm telling you because they all gonna eat off of this. So they they're in a group, you know, in an, an alliance. To do this to you. And spirit is saying that you're not a victim. You're a survivor. You survived all of this shit. All right. And because you did, blessings are about to pour in. Absolutely. We keep seeing that changes are coming in. All right. Let's see what else. Play more, Holy Spirit. Yeah, this person is a con artist. They're wearing a mask. They're very manipulative. They're a liar. Okay. They're big mad. Okay. Because you're gonna you're gonna get in your divine union in this lifetime. Okay. This person is a drama queen. 
They want to use, oh, I said drama queen. He, he could be a drama king or a queen, whatever. Take it how it resonates. But this con artist right here is a drama king. Drama queen is a, is a fucking, a karmic. And they're mad, okay? Because maybe because you didn't put your guard down. You've been having your guard up. And because you're getting into a divine union. So you see all these haters that we got here, okay? For some of y'all, they stole an inheritance, will, or money from you, okay? These family members. And they're gonna, they're gonna pay you at the end of this whole karmic situation. All right, this is just a karmic cycle. This is not going to last forever. All right, that rejection is divine protection. All right, so with, with whoever you thought you was going to be with, rejection in the sense that, you know, maybe you had a plan. You thought you was going to be with this person. You was ready to settle down or whatever. So if it is saying that rejection is actually divine protection, God did not want you to be with that person because they're a fucking karmic, okay? okay. Now, whoever this person is, yeah, look, right here. This is the person that wanted to put your guard down. So everybody's saying, keep your guard up. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? This person is right now, they're getting karma, all right? Don't try to save nobody. Don't try to help nobody. And just stay away. Let them get their karma. Let me see what's on the floor. We have here, yeah, because they're under demonic possession. <laughs> so spirit wants you to stay woke. Yeah, look, they're going to need your help. See what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? I said don't try to help nobody, and that's what it is. They're going to try to come in. They're going to try to come in with, with, you know, some bullshit so that you can help them. But Spirit is saying it's a trick, all right? We already saw right here, trickery, all right? Trying to come in with some trickery, some bullshit, some type of manipulation to try to get access to your energy again. So don't answer the phone. Don't agree to link up with nobody. Just keep it pushing. Let this person get their karma. You are free now from this shit. Tell me more. Yeah, just saw a friend of me. So some of y'all is a friend of me, a lover, a family member. Take it how it resonates. All right, for some of y'all, you are moving to a new city or you already did. And these people, they're troubled because they know that you got love coming in. It's, it's another confirmation right here. They must be checking your energy. All right, these people that they doing voodoo. So they check checking to see if the voodoo's working. And they also see what you got, you know, what you got coming up. And they're trying to block it. All right, because they know that you're meant to be in a divine union. They know that you're meant to be manifesting all these good things. That you're meant to be, for some of y'all, the first millionaire in your family. And they're trying to steal your contract. They, they want to keep you stuck to keep on siphoning from your energy. So now they're like, damn, this person, they about to get this lover. It's coming in. Somebody moved in, moved to a new city. You know, like they don't got control over you any, any longer. All right? And some of y'all, you are moving to a new city. And look, trouble. The keys coming out. They trouble. They stress. They press. They depress because they know that this is going to be an ending to this lavish lifestyle that they was living off of your energy. Tell me more. Live and let live. That's what they need to do. That's what you're doing. You're not focusing. Yeah, spirit is saying that's the truth. They need to do that. They need to release, learn, and heal. But they're not going to do that, all right? But you're doing that. You are releasing the situation. You are leveling up. You're living your best life. You're not sitting in this energy of feeling betrayed, even though it is a betrayal. You know, these are people that you would not expect that they're doing this shit to you. But you're learning from this, and you're letting it go. Because the sooner that you do this, the sooner that you heal, the sooner that you get to manifest this true love, the sooner that, that you get to manifest these blessings, all right? This is just part of the game. Learn from it. Keep these people out of your energy, and keep it pushing, all right? Tell me more. Alright, let's see. Alright, so these people paid somebody to do something to you. This could be this trafficking, and now they're going through a domino effect. Alright, now so much karma is hitting them. Bang, bang, bang. One by one. Clarify paid someone. Wow, look what they pay somebody to do, to curse you. Let me see what's up. Wow, <laughs> alliance. Yo, you cannot make this up, y'all. Look at this. Alliance. They was working in an alliance, again, to curse you. They paid somebody, a hitman, a spiritual hitman, a hit woman, whatever, to do this. Yeah, because look, they want your money, all right? Yeah, look, and coach, like I said. So they paid, you know, this coach. This leader, like I said, this leader that they have to keep going to with this information, you know, so they could get their, their cookie, you know, they get their little points and shit like that. All right. So they were paying somebody to curse you. All right. It ain't happening. They wanted your money. It ain't happening. All right. Spirit wants you to be aware so you can protect your energy and stay away from these people. All right. Blessings are coming in and these people about to get locked up, get sick, die and all of the above. Okay. Stay woke.